Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a favicon to your site. A favicon is like a favorites icon. So it's a good thing to have because it helps your bookmarks stand out when people bookmark your page. Let me show you here. Let me just show you my bookmarks. You'll see here that Netflix has a favicon and they're easy to spot, whereas many of these other ones do not. Okay, so that's why you want to have a favicon on your page. Now, it's fairly simple to get one going. You can use a web service to do it. Okay, so all you need is an image, and then you can select that image and it'll create a favicon out of it. Now, your image shouldn't be all that big. It's a maximum of 150 kilobytes. So make sure that it isn't very large. Okay, so I'm just gonna go browse for one here. Okay, so here's an image here I'm going to use. It's a full size image. And then down here, now we can create some other things merge with a 32 by 32 desktop icon and merge with a 48 by 48 XP icon. I'm just going to go create the icon. Okay, and then it shows you here what it'll look like. There'll be a little favicon there. So I'm going to download it and then we'll save it. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It's just this little image. Now, to get that on your site, you need to upload that into the images folder for your site and then put this line of code in the header. And that's it, just in the header section above the slash head tag. And then when you go to upload it to your server and go to the site, the favicon will show in the browser bar and when they bookmark it, it'll show in their bookmarks. Okay, for instance, this website here, you'll see that this is the image I used to make my favicon, and there's the favicon up there. And if we look at the code, okay, so here's that line of code link, the one I just copied from there, and I have it in images slash favicon.ico. I just uploaded it there, and just as simple as that, it shows up. So that's how you can add a favicon to your website.